Wet Kuat Amortican Summer, the title of Episode 7, suggests that Summer, Rick's granddaughter and Morty's sister, becomes extremely powerful at the risk of her own intelligence in an effort to win Jimmy over. Summer hasn't had much of an impact on Rick and Morty's season 7 episodes up until now, but that all changed with Episode 7. With the episodes that have been released thus far, Rick and Morty Season 7 has drastically changed things for the show. Sadly, Beth and Summer have been dropped. Even while they have occasionally had brief moments, Rick and Morty Season 7 hasn't really given them much attention in favor of showcasing more of the characters' exploits as the canon keeps expanding. With its final episodes, Rick and Morty Season 7 has finally included Summer in the mix. Although the tease for the season hinted at a new Morty and Summer adventure, the episode actually focuses on Rick and Summer, and further develops the evolving relationship between the two that we first saw develop in Season 6. Here's all you need to know about every significant event that happened in Rick and Morty Season 7 Episode 7, Wet Kuat and Mordekin Summer, because it's a pretty huge moment that may happen next. Rick is seen teddying up after several of his mishaps, and Summer demands payment from him. Before Summer offers an attribute slider in exchange, he first declines. She wanted to improve her qualities to make herself stronger in exchange for her brains since she wanted to impress a boy at a frisbee golf party that evening. After that, Rick nods and hands her a slider with movable strength, IQ, dexterity, and charisma numbers. After assisting Rick in killing his adversary, Morty becomes envious and requests one, but Summer declines to give it to him and Rick ends the conversation. Summer dazzles with her strength, dexterity, and personality when she and Morty attend the frisbee golf party following the opening credits. Envious, Morty tries to impress Summer's friend Trisha by borrowing the slider, which leads to a scene. After stealing the gadget, they struggle until they fall into a swimming pool. When the attribute slider goes crazy, it becomes clear that Morty has merged with Summer's stomach to become a quato, just like in Total Recall. When someone points out that Summer doesn't know what a quato is, she leaves the party and goes to Rick for assistance. Rick tells her that their DNA was fused together by the attribute slider and expresses his admiration for her achievement in getting a quato. And she starts doing more chores before scrolling over social media, he'll correct it. She searches for the club featured in the advertisement after seeing one showing other people having a good time with quatos of their own. At this new club, Morty, who is always yelling, open your mind, is a major hit and Summer begins to make friends with other quatos. The others clarify that they are members of a close-knit group of people who enjoy being quados and partying constantly. They describe it as being like living in the future. As she exits the bar, she strikes up a conversation with someone, but it turns out he was only enticing her to a location where she would be abducted. She is snatched, wakes up tied on a slab of concrete, and her Morty quado is gone, almost burning her to death. Thanks to the improvements Rick made to her ponytail, only one of the numerous ways he's compensated her for household tasks. Summer is now free to go out on a journey to save her brother. In the meantime, Beth dispatches Rick to locate the children. When Summer returns to the club to confront the man who initially put her in this situation, it becomes apparent that Morty will be replaced by someone else. It appears that the individual in charge of the Quado Club is profiting from implanting Quados in those who are willing to pay for them. In the meantime, Rick pursues Summer beating up everyone in his path until he locates her. After discovering that, as Morty had been claiming all along, Summer could locate Morty if she truly opened her mind. She eventually establishes a psychic connection with Quato Morty, who is presently up for sale. Rick and Summer ultimately find themselves at a boat where Morty is being loaded after navigating through the facility where he is being held captive and encountering a variety of Quatos. Rick and Summer work out their issues during the argument, and Summer questions Rick about why he grants Morty all of his requests. Rick admits that although he handles Morty in that manner, he does not approach Summer in the same way since he respects her and finds her to be reminiscent of Diane. The Morty Quado is in the midst of trying to get away. Eventually, Rick and Summer get at the Quado boss, who is actually a tiny Quado inside the Quado. As soon as the two Quados begin fighting and Boss Quado pulls out a knife with a smaller knife on it, Morty crashes through the roof it quickly becomes apparent that the boss Quado is actually a smaller Quado inside a smaller Quado inside more Quados. However, Rick sends him into the sea because he is bored. After Morty tells Rick that he wants the small spider machine that boss Quado was riding in, Rick ultimately it acquires it for him. Morty then returns to school and uses the spider machine to become a star on the frisbee golf team. 
As everything draws to a close, Summer finds herself with the woman she ultimately rescued from the furnace during her escape. After the credits roll, a group of billionaires a la Squid Game wait for Morty Quado to get an implant while making jokes about the number 69, a nod to the joke from the original series.